Robert Mueller filed his Trump Russia report this afternoon with the Attorney General. No one knows yet what's in the report or what accompanying events might be about to play out. It's being widely reported that Mueller won't bring any additional indictments, but an hour ago, Palmer Report explained that, because Mueller is known to have handed some cases off to the likes of SDNY, it's entirely reasonable to expect that more indictments are coming. Now it turns out Adam Schiff agrees with us. Has Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff appeared on MSNBC during the 6 p.m. hour today, and he said this, what Mueller is reporting, as best we can tell, are his conclusions on the criminal side of the House, who should be indicted and who shouldn't be indicted, and why he reached those conclusions. Then Schiff added that he thinks it's entirely possible, if not likely, that there will be other indictments forthcoming. It's not all that difficult to figure out how and why this would be the case. For example, Robert Mueller investigated Michael Cohen and determined that, while Cohen didn't commit crimes central to the Trump-Russia election scandal, he did commit other Trump-related crimes, so he referred the case to the SDNY, which had jurisdiction over those crimes. Sure enough, SDNY brought a case against Cohen, and he's going to prison. Does anyone really believe that Cohen is the only person in Trump's orbit who fit this particular pattern? So yeah, Adam Schiff is right to expect that there are additional indictments likely coming. The question is how many Trump-related sealed indictments are in play that we don't know about. It's also notable that Schiff expects the report to spell out who should be indicted. This would mean that Mueller's report has spelled out why these other indictments are about to be carried out.